collabed with everybody. Like, I can't think of a brand that hasn't collaborated with Sanrio. You know what? One brand that I've always wanted to see a collab with Sanrio, I don't think they've done it, is Teddy Fresh. If you watch the H3 podcast, um, Hila Klein and Etha Klein, they are H3, H3, they have their podcast, and Hila is the creator of Teddy Fresh. It is um, a clothing company. And they've done a bunch of collaborations. They, I think they've done, let's see, they've done like random ones. Like they did one with Elton John, which was really cool. They've done one with the Peanuts, like Charlie Brown. They've done a collaboration with them. They, they've just done a done and they do collapse with like artists and stuff like that it's a really great brand unfortunately the only thing I own by them is a beanie that's why I never actually wear the Teddy Fresh clothes but if I had Teddy Fresh clothes I would I just get a little hesitant about ordering clothes online because I like to try them on like before buying them because it's a hassle if you need to send it back and all this stuff like I don't even shop on Amazon for clothes because I just don't want to take it back so I just I don't bother but anyways Teddy Fresh if you're watching this which obviously you're not but if you ever come across this in any type of way do a collaboration with Sanrio it would be so cute and it would sell out so fast they've done like Spongebob like the Spongebob one was so cute and I know they I'm pretty sure they sold out like their first drop with the Spongebob collaboration so do Sanrio, please. Okay, the next thing I got was this cuticle trimmer right here. So, I guess it's technically two pieces. And basically, you have the knife here. Um, I use it to just push back the cuticle. And then, um, this guy actually goes in and trims it. So, you can see, like, the little divot. The little, like, whatever it's called. That's what you actually put in between, like, on the cuticle. Let me see if I can show you without hurting myself. And you kind of just go through like that, and you trim it off. It's actually really easy to use. I was very scared to use it the first time. <laughs> but, um, yeah, super easy to use. Didn't cut myself or anything, so. Because that's what I was getting into, like, putting on the press ons at home. use them yet. I just 
Okay, this is the last item from my first trip to DJ Maxx. So I got this pack of air ties from Cupcakes and Cashmere. This brand, when I went, they had a lot of cute hair accessories and I had never heard of it before. Um, they had clips, hair ties, like, what are the bobby pins? Like, different types of bobby pins with designs on them. Super cute. Um, but I picked up this pack. It's a 10 pack, but I've taken out three of the hair ties and used them. Where are they? I'll be honest, I have no idea where they are. <laughs> there is something about hair ties and they just get lost. You just put it down, like on your counter.
Halloween. 
was like debating if I should keep wearing them, but I don't know. My nail beds were already brittle and not very strong to begin with, so I think continuing that is probably not going to be the best for me, so the nails will grow out. I promise you the tapping will improve in the future again, but if you have like any recommendations for nail care, let me know. That's my next thing I need to tackle. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you 